and welcome back to my youtube channel if it is your first time here be sure to subscribe press that like button as well as the notification bell if it isn't your first time hello welcome back how are you doing um so before i get into my video today i just want to take a moment to appreciate every single person that has subscribed to my channel every single person that has supported my channel every single person that has liked commented i really really appreciate it i hit a mark that may seem little to some people but i'm generally very 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 grateful because i know that that is just the beginning to bigger success and bigger growth so i'm very 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 grateful um for all 110 of you and i can only imagine what what bigger growth we're gonna reach um so yeah i'm just very very grateful to everyone i really appreciate you guys i love you guys and i I am so thrilled to know that you enjoy my content and I cannot and that generally encourages me to um, you know be more creative and all that so I really 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 am grateful and love you guys all and cannot wait to grow to get to know you guys and to just build relationships and a community somehow so yeah that with that being said I just want to do, um, well, I was going to go get ready for bed because it is kind of late. <laughs> um, it's about half 12. But I thought to myself, I kind of want to make a video just to talk a little bit and just to express how I've been feeling, what I've been doing and how, and to sort of like check in with myself. So I thought instead of doing that with just myself, I thought why not do a video about it because maybe someone out there needs, um, main this video may be good for someone out there um obviously it is may so happy new month as well actually um but what i wanted to do is because obviously it is mental health month in may it is quite like a big thing where um is very focused on mental health and most of the time we th when we think of that we think of it as a very very negative thing but each person has mental health but it just depends some people have it like um stronger than others but each and every one of us has it and has to look after our mental state and so obviously with the situation currently it can be quite heavy on your mental um on your mental state so it's very very important to make sure that the same way you're pouring into other people you should also pour into yourself i know that that is not very easy for um for everyone you know it may be easy for some and hard for others depending on how your lifestyle is set up um but i just feel like it's very important to sometimes take a moment whether it is five minutes um a day or just take a moment and check in with yourself make sure you're doing well because I really believe um, the saying, you know, you can't pour out of an empty glass. You need to be full in order to pour out because what can you pour out of an empty empty glass? So that's what I wanted to do because I've had, to be fair, like at the beginning of all of this, I was quite like motivated. I was on it and all that. And as the longer it went, the, the more I sort of like found myself, one day I'll be super productive, the next day I'll be super like, I don't want to do anything like I don't want to leave my house and all the sort of thing and as much as I allowed myself to have those rest days I feel like it was quite like daunting to go through the imbalance I guess um, so so yeah it's been quite interesting that um, to see the transition um, of how I've been feeling um, I've allowed myself to definitely rest, I've allowed myself to relax, I've allowed myself to be productive when I can and take it easy on days that I cannot, I've allowed myself to do things that would normally keep me calm, you know, like taking baths, reading books, going out for a walk, listening to music, working out whenever I could, not very often, but, um, you know, just do things like baking, cooking, those kind of things normally keeps me calm. So I've definitely incorporated that in my routine i say routine because it's not like i do this on a regular like yes fair enough things like cooking i have to do that um like you know reading a book i don't really read my books like i used to so i've been able to pick up books and start reading them again and you know like 
breathing exercises, making sure that I'm feeling okay and listening to my body as well. Um, like I said before, like this cannot, this can be hard for some people depending on their lifestyle and depending on um, what they do on a day-to-day -day basis. But I've really been able to keep myself calm even on days where I felt like, okay, I'm over this. So yeah, so the check-in basically is um, just to check in with yourself, making sure you're doing well, making sure you're okay, making sure you're dealing with whatever emotions you're, de you're feeling. Because again, it's, it's very important to um, acknowledge the emotions you're feeling and then finding ways to sort of like turn that into something positive. Because especially in moments like this, I feel like it's very easy to fall into the trap. I don't want to say into the trap, but to get comfortable in, you know, the the more the more negative um, the more negative feelings rather than the positive ones. Because again, you're stuck in your house. You can't really go anywhere. You can't do anything. You can't distract yourself, and you sometimes have to face your thoughts and what whatever emotions you're dealing with and that can be quite daunting so i think that's why it's very important to check self check in with yourself and just know that you know okay i am feeling this way what can i do and you know talk to your friends talk to your family um talk to someone and not to deal with things by yourself um and I know sometimes it feels like, oh yeah, there's already a lot going on. Like I don't really want to pick up the phone and call my friends and tell them. But let me tell you something, picking up the phone and calling someone can actually help you and save you from um, drowning in your sorrows, your negative feelings, your negative emotions and, you know, your negative mindset. It can actually help you come out of it because your friends can encourage you, you know, your friends can start checking up on you, your family can encourage you and stuff like that. So I think it's just checking in with yourself, making sure you're sleeping enough. That is something that I've been really struggling with. Um, and it's weird because at the beginning of lockdown, I was able to go to bed at like I would be in bed at 11 12 o'clock and be able to sleep and wake up in the morning and it's fine but then I found myself like the days that I would be feeling fit, like I'll be feeling down I felt like um I couldn't really sleep because I just felt just blurred the whole day so me feeling blurred like it's kind of like oh i can't even be bothered to sleep like i'm not even tired so then my sleeping pattern has gone from bad to worse that is something i'm definitely wanting to fix um so so that i had to check in with myself and be like okay i don't like the fact that my sleeping pattern is like this and also just the feeling tired and feeling unproductive is not something i really like um because obviously i can't leave my house i've found ways to be productive in my house so when the days comes that i'm you know the days come when i'm just like oh like i really just can't be bothered to do it's like okay it's okay for one day but then when it carries on for two days, three days, it's kind of like, okay, like you need to do something about it. Um, so yeah, this self-check-in is just kind of like, okay, am I sleep am I am I sleeping enough? Am I eating e eating enough? Am I eating well? Obviously, like with this lockdown, we're kind of like eating a little bit too much. But even with that, like, am I making sure I'm having um like you know, healthy, healthy meals? Am I just eating all the snacks and all those sort of things, those those kind of self-checking sort of like, you know, just to put yourself back on the right track. Um, and you can do this by yourself or you can even do it with your friends just to, to, to keep you accountable, sort of like, hey, I know like you set a little target for yourself, like, yeah, I know you said um, we don't want to overwhelm you, but then, you know, like, let's work out together over like um, video call and stuff like that. So those kind of things. Once you realize and check in with yourself, the, the way you can change um, your habits could really help even if you even if it means incorporating other people in it. So like, yeah, so are you sleeping enough? Are you eating enough? Um, are you exercising? Are you at least going outside? Which is something as well, like I 
I, I haven't really done a lot. I wish I had done more, which obviously I still can do, but it's like I do go outside every now and then, but it's like I would really want it to be a, a everyday kind of thing um, where I'm able to go outside and sort of like be outside rather than just in the four, um, four walls of my house. Um, you know, exercising, whether it's just a yoga, a yoga session, whether it's a meditating session, whether it's just breathing exercises, whether it is exercising, actually like cardio dancing, sort of like, are you being active in a way? Because, you know, being active actually helps you feel better. So those, all those kind of things can actually like, you know, pull you out of this bubble of, you know, I'm over this. Um, and just reminding yourself who you are, reminding what yourself what you love about yourself, um, you know, um, self-affirmation. I am an advocate of self-affirmation, even though like it sounds like it sounds so weird, you know, telling yourself you are beautiful, you are strong, you are this, you are that. It's very important because at the end of the day, you need to be able to tell yourself that before anybody can tell you that. So, you know, um, Having this habit of being able to tell yourself these things and self uh, speak affirmations to yourself is very, very important because then that is also checking with yourself. Okay, I am feeling this way, but I can I can do better because I know I am capable, because I know I am strong, because I know. So it's kind of like very, very, very important to do that for yourself. This is for your well-being, for your mental state, for your mental health. Um, but yeah, like just, I think as much as I'm, I, th I feel like I'm saying the same things, but the point of this video is just to encourage you guys to check in with yourself. Are you happy? Are you sleeping enough? Are you eating enough? Are you feeling okay? When you don't feel okay, what are you doing about it? How are you dealing with it? Are you just pushing it under the rug or are you actually dealing with it? Do you speak to people? Do you exercise? Are you, you know, are you listening to your body? Are you allowing yourself to rest? Are you allowing yourself to, you know, um, relax? And are you looking after yourself, basically? The same way we're so, so, so quick to look after people and after other people. It's not selfish to check in with yourself, to take a moment and be like, okay, how am I really doing? More than just I'm fine, but how am I really doing? Sometimes it's very important to dig into those emotions because it helps you realize how you can help yourself. Um, but yeah, so with the whole self check-in situation, um, I just want to encourage everyone to do these things and it will help. I, I, I'm pretty sure it will help. I believe it will help. I believe it will take you out of the bad mood. It will take you out of the feeling there, <laughs> you know, like out here feeling blur all the time. Um, but yeah, and, and listen, listen to your body. If you feel like, okay, today I really just want to relax and, you know, be, be in my, um, be in my pajama and in my robe all day and just read a book and have a bath, do a face mask, do what you have to do for yourself, for you to feel good and for you to be able to pour into people if they need you to do that. So, um, but then again, like I said, it can be very, very difficult for, um, depending on how your lifestyle is set up, but finding five minutes, even if it is just five minutes for you to sit down and just do like deep breathing exercises, just to relax yourself and to forget about everything else for just five minutes that that's what it should be whether it is you you know at the end of the day taking a, a bath and just staying in there for a couple of minutes just to relax yourself do that if it is you picking up a book and reading it like whatever you are able to do to help you feel good and feel better i would encourage you to do that because it is very 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 important um and very 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 beneficial so yeah um that is it really i don't really feel like there was much of a setup for this video i just wanted to come here and just talk to you guys again thank you to all my subscribers 
and looking forward to getting to know you guys looking forward to pouring up more content looking forward to creating more i've really really been enjoying um being able to create and finding different ways to be creative and stuff that has definitely helped me through this period and i came to realize i actually really really enjoy youtube so that is something i've just discovered about myself um and i enjoy being creative for youtube and stuff so that has been amazing um but yeah that's about it really guys um nothing else to say hope you you're holding up hope you're coping hope you're not too drained by the situation because i know that it is not here to stay it will end very very soon and one day we will actually talk about this and say we survived it <laughs> but um yeah that was really just a little bit of a chit chat self check-in um i hope this helps somebody i hope the same way this helped me i will definitely be implementing all these things that i spoke about things that i haven't really done been doing much um in my lifestyle during quarantine and after quarantine because again like checking in with yourself is something you should be doing on a regular it's not just when things are hard it's something you should be doing with yourself on a regular you need to know how you're feeling you need to acknowledge your, your emotions you need to acknowledge what you're feeling how you're feeling and how you're dealing with it because that is just as important as the next person's feelings so you know it is not selfish it is not bad to check in with yourself it is not bad to put yourself first and to you know take a moment and dedicate that moment to yourself it is not selfish at all and nobody should tell you that it is um but yeah guys that's all really i hope i'm making sense i hope you're doing well obviously we're about to start a new week i wish you a wonderful week i wish you productivity i wish you positive vibes i wish you you know like all the good things okay and um don't forget to like this video subscribe if you haven't press notification bell leave a comment down below of how you're feeling about this and also um follow me on my social media which will pop up on the screen if not it will be in my description box below but yeah that being said guys i will see you in my next video thank you so much for tuning in and